More than 20 people are facing federal drug charges after FBI raids across the state. Good evening, I'm Hunter Petroviak. Most of the raids were centered around homes right here in Fort Wayne. Fox 55's Cody Butler is live at the federal court building with more details about where the raids happened. Cody. Hunter, 21 people are expected to face a federal judge here in Fort Wayne after they were facing several charges of federal drug trafficking, several drug trafficking charges, that is. That includes fentanyl, meth, and cocaine. People living in the neighborhoods where these raids happen tell me they're actually relieved to see the FBI. Typically quiet neighborhoods, that's how people across town describe the areas in Fort Wayne where FBI agents executed search warrants looking for drugs. Well, I'm not happy with it. It's a really nice neighborhood. Pam Lemons lives in the North Highlands neighborhood near this home where federal agents took at least one person in custody this morning. She says it's concerning the FBI was on her street with everything going on in the neighborhood. Hamilton Park is right down the street and a lot of kids in the neighborhood, a lot of people walk. Across the street, Sandra Moninger is happy to see the FBI. That means that our neighborhood association is very strong. Uh, we have people watching out for each other in this neighborhood and uh, reporting things that should not be here. Today's raids were part of the FBI's Joint Safe Streets Task Force with Fort Wayne PD and the Allen County Sheriff. Federal prosecutors say they are making a huge dent in the drug trafficking network in Fort Wayne. I'm sad that it is in our neighborhood, but I'm glad that we're getting them out of here. In all, agents served 12 warrants, one in Indianapolis, the rest in Fort Wayne, including Westview Avenue, North Highlands, Willows of Coventry, and the Morgan Creek neighborhood. Jake Settler woke up to the FBI two houses down. It was pretty shocking, not something you ever expect to see. Settler says despite being a close neighborhood, he never knew drugs were being distributed from his block. Get to know people back here fairly well, so um, not something you really expect from anybody, especially with the, the seriousness of the stuff that's getting thrown out. People across the city tell me tonight they have noticed an increased police presence in unmarked vehicles. The FBI says that's because this investigation has been going on for a year. Reporting live, Cody Butler, Fox 55 News.